Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This video is a collab with Silken Sims, and it is a collab because we are making Sims for each other's series. And I'll tell you guys about what she is doing and about what I am doing in just a moment. But Silken is another Sims YouTuber, and she has the most professional and perfect narrating voice I have ever heard. I'm trying to convince her to do audiobooks because one of my best friends narrates audiobooks and I showed her one of Silken's videos and her jaw dropped. She was like, oh my gosh, that voice is like everything I aspire mine to be. So it's just amazing. And she has, Silken has several really cool series on her channel and she just puts so much work into her videos and you can really tell. They're just, they're so cool. So you guys definitely have to check that out. But these fairy princesses that I am making are for her adventures in Netflix. Neverland series and she also has an upcoming series called Blue Moon that I'm actually voicing one of her characters for. She reached out to me and asked me so I said yes and I'm really excited to do that but it will be a really cool short series. Blue Moon will be with some magical elements and I will put the link to the trailer to that in the video description below but Silken also said that she's still looking for a few more people to voice some characters so if you're interested and think you have a great character voice then you can message her on Twitter at Silken Sims and send her a demo reel and for those of you who don't know what a demo reel is it is samples like mp3 samples of you reading character voices or narrating something from a book or offline but it would be so cool to be in that series with one of you so definitely contact her if you're interested all of her channel and social media links are in the video description below so make sure you check that out but let's talk about the sims that I am making in this video. So as I mentioned, they are fairy princesses that I made for her Adventures in Neverland series. They are all sisters, even though they look very different, but I thought of it as all fairies are very unique and have their own powers and special abilities, which is why all of their colors and wings are also different. But the background story that I came up with for them, and Silken is absolutely allowed to change this however she wants to fit into her series better, but they are taking a break from royal responsibilities and exploring Neverland. So Silken might have some of her characters meet our fairy princesses, and I'll tell you all about what Silken is doing for our royal family series in just a bit, but it's pretty magical, and I think you guys are going to be really excited about that. So I'll talk about that in just a moment. But this is Coventina Merriweather. She is the oldest sister and she will be the queen of the fairies. Her aspiration is to find her soulmate. She is good, she loves the outdoors, and she's a perfectionist. I was originally going to make them all have their own elements and I really wanted hers to be water, but I ended up just doing my, like, my own thing with her. I honestly had so much fun doing this and I love the aesthetics of them so much and I love her wings they're gorgeous I know there's also a fairy mod but this is all just custom content that I downloaded I didn't download the mod but you can find all of my custom content on my Pinterest board which is in the description of this video as well but I created a fairy section on that board so you guys can definitely check that out and download all the custom content but Coventina's hairstyle is a new custom content that I got and I haven't used it in my royal family series yet but I definitely will it's such a small like a soft romantic updo and I love it so much but I'm also realizing how good highlighter and skin details look on them and I really need to do that for some of my other sims I've had those skin details for a really long time and I just haven't used them I don't know why but I think I just maybe didn't have the right ones and I think I downloaded a few more so I definitely need to add those to our characters like Amira I want to see what she would look like with all that so I need to give them some makeovers too I think that will be a lot of fun but this is the middle child. Her name is Brucie and I did end up giving her more of an earthy nature vibe and Brucie her name means forest bright in French so I thought that was really cool. She is an outdoor enthusiast. She's a child of the island. She loves the outdoors obviously and she's a vegetarian but I love how she turns out and I love the dress that we end up picking for her which is that one right there. It looks 
so good on her. It looks amazing. And it has like butterflies on it too, which is so cool. But I gave her short hair and I ended up going with a different short hairstyle that I use at the very end, not this one, just because I was trying to put a tear on her and the tear didn't work with this hairstyle. But I wanted to make her a little different because I know that almost all of my characters in my series have long hair. So I wanted to give her like a short little pixie cut. I thought that was really cute. I know I do a lot of the same styles for my Sims, but I also really love creating Sims based off of colors. If you have seen my first collab video that I did with Simmer Erin, you can see that I did the color theme with those Sims, but that was because we were giving each other Sims makeovers and her her sims were a rainbow theme, so I just went with that. And then I realized how much I love creating styles off of colors. But Erin actually gives Princess Amira and Harley from my Dynasty series a makeover in that video. So I will put that link to that video if you wanna check that as well. But I love doing the color style and fancy styles. I know I do a lot of royal themes. Also, sorry, it is lagging right here. It was my OBS recording software. It does this sometimes. I'm usually able to fix it, but I couldn't in this one. So it's sorry, it'll go back to normal in like just a minute. It like, yeah, right now it should be fine. But yeah, sorry about that. That is the only time that it does that in this video. But anyway, yeah, so I know I do a lot of royal themed things, but I think that's my niche and that's what my channel is known for so that's why I like it and I just love it so so much but I would love to do other types of video got for you guys too like maybe create a sim challenges or build challenges I know there's a hyper realism challenge where you make your sim look super realistic I probably wouldn't change my sims to look like that in my series but it would be really cool to see what they look like as a realistic sim but it would also be cool to do maybe a mystical mermaid create a sim challenge but let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below I love seeing Seeing all your suggestions. I always read your comments even if I don't always have time to respond to them and to like your comments but I do read them and respond as much as I can so definitely let me know if you have any suggestions for other videos but anyway sorry this is the youngest sister her name is Nolana her aspiration is to be a renaissance sim she is a genius creative and ambitious. So she has a lot going for her, but I'm excited for you all to see the style we end up going with her, but it, it's just so cool. It is like this butterfly, a magical butterfly. It's really awesome and I love the wings and I'm so excited for you guys to see. Anyway, uh, let me talk about what Silken is doing for our Royal Family series. So I don't wanna give too much away because you guys need to check out her video to see and to learn more about them, but she is making a dark and magical royal family that will appear in our Royal Family series. I'm not 100% sure how often they will be in the series, but I have an idea of how to incorporate them. We just have so many royal families right now, but they'll be in there a good amount, I think. But they won't be in the next episode of the royal family because I already filmed that, but they'll be in the one after that. So that would be season two, episode nine of the royal family. We will get to meet them, but definitely check out Silken's video. Again, her channel is in the description below and I'll put the link to the video once it comes out too. Silken also saw some of the palaces that you guys have made for me for my Royal Family series and she was super impressed. So she said that if any of you guys want to build a fairy palace for these Sims, you can use the hashtag Silken Sims in the gallery. And I can't wait to see what you guys build too. But oh, I love this fantasy theme so much. I love fairies and mermaids a lot more than werewolves or stuff like that. I'm posting my Q&A video tomorrow and I will address the question about vampires and alien families that you guys have mentioned. So you can check out the video tomorrow if you want to see my answer to that. But I don't think I'll be making a fairy royal family in my series, even though I love these Sims so much. I just can't imagine that, like I imagine fairies being smaller than humans, even though it's a game, but still. But I also think that it would just add a totally different vibe to the series if we added fairies to it. But maybe in the future, if I do another series, we can have fairies. But I uploaded these Sims to my gallery. My gallery ID name is The Real Mirror Ray. You have to check the box on the left that says include custom content to get them to show up. I can't put a link to them in the description below because they have custom content. But again, you can download all of their custom content that I use from my Pinterest board. 
But this is almost over, so I'm gonna end this here. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you hit that like button if you did. Let me know which one is your favorite fairy in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Silken's video and channel so you can see the sim she made for our royal family series. And here's some screenshots so you guys can see the final look too. But don't forget that you can also see my posting schedule for this week on my Twitter at MiraRay underscore. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.